Hey everyone, I'm Mike Brooks. We're back in the Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen with our good buddy Chef Valerie from the OUTU School of Community Medicine. You could kind of say we're chilling out maybe today a little bit. We're making smoothies. We're making smoothies, yeah. So it's really hard sometimes to get all the vegetables that you need in a day. Mm -hmm. Fruits sometimes are a little easier, especially for kids. But with a smoothie, you could actually get a couple of servings of vegetables in greens, uh, like spinach or kale, in a smoothie in the morning. And they don't even know about it. They don't right. even know about it. I've raised a couple of kids. You're raising a couple of kids, and it's a good way to just kind of yeah. And they sneak like them one, by. one of my kids likes it better than the other. But yeah. yes, I mean, if you have a good high-powered blender that can really mm -hmm. spin and puree those greens, you can't even okay. tell they're in there. Can you taste them? Um, I mean, it bit? kind of depends. Like okay. some kids don't even care. It doesn't bother me at all. Like the one that we're gonna make, which this is the peach, ginger, mango, banana, kale smoothie. Yum. You can't even taste the kale. Okay. Um, so we also made a. Um, this is the berry. Banana spinach. Yes. Okay, so sometimes spinach can taste a little bit irony, uh -huh. and but not necessarily in a bad way. But some people can taste that. It doesn't bother me. Okay. The more you drink it, the more you get used to it. Easy okay. things to use here. So yeah. we have a banana and some ginger in here already. You can mm -hmm. use bananas that are a little past their prime because they actually actually are a little bit sweeter. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna go with some frozen mango some frozen peaches and one cup so it's one cup total of fruit okay. one cup of greens and I again I actually prefer the kale over the spinach but it is going to be a uh, personal opinion and then you're going to need some liquid in here so that it blends really smoothly and this is just water okay okay so some people might put some juice in theirs and if you already drink them and you already love them that's totally fine but just remember that when you use something like orange juice or pomegranate juice mm -hmm. orange juice has the same number of calories and same amount of sugar ounce for ounce as a soda pop wait a minute yes yeah, no really yeah so we always say kids should eat more fruit and people think oh well juice is the same thing but it's really yeah. not because you've removed all that fiber it's very high in sugar very high in calories see i've learned something you've learned something too okay yeah. so we're going to blend this it's just okay. going to take a few seconds we're going to give it a pulse and we're going to turn it all the way up bright green color. Okay, yeah. And you want to get it well pureed so that those leaves are not just hanging around it. <laughs> you got to sneak that by the kids That's if right. they see any leaves or anything. Okay. And if we had a little bit more time, mm -hmm. we might go ahead and do it just a little bit more, but it is okay. well pureed and this is just going to go right into the glass. And Look then at that. a okay. fun straw to go with it. it goes a long way. Okay, we used to call these bendy straws. That's right. So let's put that right there. Okay. And look at that. Okay, now you brought this out as well because we yes. can actually pre-make these, right? Right. So if you want to save time in the morning by not getting out three bags of frozen vegetables and peeling a banana, mm -hmm. go ahead and get some frozen containers and put everything in there and you can stock three or four of these at a time and they're ready to go in the morning. So all you have to do is dump it in the blender yeah. and since it's going to be coming from a frozen state, you mm -hmm. might want to use really hot water in the blender to thaw it up. There you go. Super easy, super healthy. It's good for the kids and you can sneak those veggies in That's and right. they won't even know about it. Yep. Perfect. Good stuff. If you'd like to find out more about this recipe or any of our other recipes, check them out on our website, kjrh.com. Chef Valerie, thank you. If we could say cheers. We'll just go cheers. cheers. Just like that.